So, this video is titled, Giving a Fuck versus Not Giving a Fuck. Just uh, kind of a thought that came to mind of the wisdom of both of these ideas. You could say, don't give a fuck what anybody thinks about you. But is that, is that actually realistic? Is that actually a concept that can be um, applied as a true principle that you're actually, actually going to live your life not caring whatsoever what anybody thinks about you? I don't think this is the least bit realistic unless you're a psychopath or perhaps a truly and completely enlightened being. I would say those are the two extremes at which you would truly not care at all what anybody thinks about you. But meanwhile, most of us are somewhere in the middle. And so there is uh, a lesson to be, to be learned in, in both of these concepts, both of these sort of extremes of to give a fuck or not to give a fuck. Because certainly people are, to a great extent, imprisoned on this planet through their cage of the expectations and the thoughts and opinions of others. And so people are, are um, living their lives to such a great extent based on the opinions, the views of others, whether it is trying not to be unacceptable to a great extent, trying to um, be something that is not that which is deemed as socially uh, inferior, socially outside the box, and so trying to conform, trying to uh, meet an ideal that puts them in the acceptable category. Or, conversely, going out of their way trying to impress people of trying to be something that, that is held in high esteem by society, by their friends and family and neighbors, having the right car, dressing the right way, having the cool haircut, having the, the acceptable wife who is both beautiful and yet not too strange or hard to relate to or empowered or outside the norms seeking to impress uh, the people around you in order to affirm to yourself something you think you are or think you should be because of a lack within because of not actually knowing who you are, not actually having a, a solid conception of yourself, and so seeking to project out there into the world something to get mirrored back to you by others telling you who you are so that you can then feel like you have an identity, which is what is going on with a lot of this, is a lack of, of self-knowledge, a lack of self-understanding, a lack of, of self-confidence um, and of self-substance such that people want to, want to be told what they are and so they're telling themselves something that they think that they are and then putting it out there for others to affirm and say, yeah, you, you're great, you're, you're, you're the best, you're the, the fastest, you're the richest, you're the best looking but that doesn't actually tell us anything about who we, we really are at our core self. And so um, I think that there is a balance to be found between not caring what other people think about you and at some other level caring deeply. That you can, you can um, find greater freedom within yourself to, to be yourself, to 
uh, explore the possibilities of who, who you might be and, um, and not be so overly concerned about what other people think. If they think you're weird or, or disconnected from reality or not creating the future for yourself that you should be creating or being irresponsible or whatever. And in the process, get to know yourself more and, and create a greater sense of, of substance of being through allowing yourself greater expression of being. Through allowing yourself to, to go outside the box and, and uh, make choices that may uh, astound others or surprise others or even shock your friends and family, but you feel that it is, it is the right choice for you, something you, you should be allowed to do and are allowed to do and, and, and can be beneficial to your life and, and a learning experience, and yet not to not to think that you're just not going to care at all and that the other people around you are irrelevant somehow, don't matter, their opinions are worthless. Um, the reflections of others is, is highly valuable to us. Not necessarily that they are right, certainly not all the time, maybe not most of the time, depending on who you're surrounded by in your life, but that the reflections of others can be um, profound uh, learning tools, learning experiences, and, and uh, mirrors that can give us insight into who we are and how we're living our life and what we're doing. And, and uh, you know, even if it is a matter of opini opinions that we disagree with, yet still that can help us show the way to, to finding out who we truly are. And so uh, it's important to give a fuck and not give a fuck simultaneously be be uh, deeply concerned and caring of the world around you of the people around you of of nature of the society that you are a part of of the city or town that you live in of the opinions of others as they view you and also create greater freedom for yourself in living your life and in so doing, expand the possibilities for everybody. Because society cannot change without individuals uh, seizing the reins of their own reality and, and choosing to go in, an, in another direction that feels more sane to them. Societies tend to get stuck on these... Uh, you know, roller coaster, train track, whatever um, routes, destinations, and these uh, these routes get more and more entrenched by individuals continuing to go along with them, continuing to reinforce that that way of being as an acceptable, appropriate, best choice way of being when there may very well be other options available, when that way of being might be just completely insane. You can easily look back through history and find instances of social developments in which people were just completely, completely nuts, completely out of touch with reality. Uh, not just select cult groups or whatever, but whole countries at times. And it took somebody uh, who could see that uh, imbalance to um, choose to live another way, become a, a example, a model, a way shower of another way of being and buck the norms and say, fuck it, I'm not going to go along with this train the way that it's going, the cliff that it's heading for. I'm going to be true to myself and not give a shit what you guys think because you're all batshit crazy or just doing it wrong and so I'm going to show another way just by being that which seems like a more sane way of being to me.
important to strike that balance, as is often the case of being able to kind of hold two concepts in your mind at the same time, two different ways of being. Allow them both to guide you and provide wisdom and learning um, and understanding of, of, of the way to live life with multiple principles, potentially contradictory, um, at the same time. All right, take it easy. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and all that stuff.